all, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I am a cruelty YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And today I am going to talk about five brands and five palettes I would recommend. And these are not necessarily my favorite palettes from each of these brands, this is just five palettes that I think you can buy if you want to try out in the brands and if you want to maybe expand your eyeshadow collection a little bit or if you do want to try certain in the brand one of these five I want to talk about and maybe just yeah get something new in your collection so these are five brands and five palettes and I'm going to start with one of the brands that maybe this is not the palette but yeah we will get to that. It is palette, but yeah. We will start with that and have that out of the way. So the first pen I want to talk about is Lethal. And if you didn't know, Lethal, they have a lot of single shades. They have some like bundles with single shades that you can buy. They have some palettes and it's one of the palettes that I'm going to talk about. I have bought one of their six pen palettes and I bought Memento. That is the pink one. I use this in Get Red With Me. I can leave that up here. I really, really like this one. And I think that Lethal is a really good brand to try. Um, because you can build your own palette. They have such an easy way to build your own palette on their website. And you can choose if you just want to buy single shades. If you want to buy a 6 pen palette or a... 12 pen palette, 9 pen palette, and I don't know what they have released. Bigger palette, 24 maybe it is? 18? I'm not sure. Maybe 24. So I would recommend Lethal, but I just took this one because this is a palette that they are selling like a palette. This is not limited edition, what I know. This is like, this is palette they have. And I just think that Lethal has amazing shades. I am not the person that like single shadows. I have never been that into that. I like when things are done and ready for me, but with Lethal I really like discovered single shadows, mainly because they have such an easy way to build your own palette, but with singles. So I would recommend Lethal and I recommend this one. I have the Velvet Dusk palette as well. I have Isn't it called the 80s palette? I can't remember what it's called. I have the Eulina palette that is not with singles. And I have the Teresa Stead palette. But yeah, I can really recommend Lethal with like everything. So yeah, <laughs> that is the brand that don't have like... Isn't the palette brand. I know that you get what I mean, but I just can't shut up. Next up, I want to talk about Menagerie. And this is actually my favorite palette from Menagerie. Uh, so far, I haven't got the Annette palette yet. But in this video, I didn't want to talk about limited edition palettes. I want to talk about palettes that you can buy. So from Menagerie, I would recommend the Whale Song palette. I really, really like this palette. This is a green and a blue palette. It looks like this. It has some cool, like, more grungier shade, like kelp and plankton. This pearl is an amazing shimmer, and this fluke is also so, so amazing. And in this, she is eating a fly, I think. Did you get it? Okay, I'm not a super big fan of blue eyeshadow, but I think these blue are real good. And... Why I recommend this is because it's easy to do looks with this one. It's easy to do a blue look, a green look, a grungy look. I have a free looks one palette with this one. I can leave it up here. But this is such a good green and blue palette. I think it's very fun and I think it's a little bit more unusual if I compare it to other green and blue palettes I have. And I think this is one of the best palettes like formula wise. I don't think that this palette has any duds. So this, that is why I recommend this. And it also it's a whale on it. I love whales. Next brand is Shroud. And 
this was hard because I love like all my palettes from Shroud but I took this palette because I think this is the one that really stands out this is really unique in formula and the payoff with this is amazing and I'm talking about the creepy cute palette this is an amazing pastel palette it looks like this these pastel shades are so intense so pigmented and they are really like it, they're just so intense and it is what you see in the palette is what you get I have other palettes that I think I might love more from Proud. I really love the Butte Beam palette and also the Arcana palette. But this one, these were some of the first pastel shadows I tried and I was like in love. And I have tried other pastels after that, but no one of the other pastels, 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 pastel colors I have tried is as good as they, these are. So. I would really recommend this if you want to try from Shroud and if you want some pastels. You can buy all this, these as, as singles if you maybe don't want the whole palette, but yeah. I do recommend the Arcana palette really really much as well, but it's just something about this palette. I think these are the best pastel shades out there. Then I'm going to talk about Nabla, and <laughs> as you may know, Nabla is one of my favorite brands. If my, not my absolute favorite brand, I have all of the palettes except one of the glitter quads, but all the other palettes I have, I think they are really good. And my favorite palette from Nabla is also the palette that I would recommend if you want to try Nabla, and that is the Secret Palette. And I know this might look as a boring palette, but it's just something about this palette. I've talked about this palette so many times. You must be sick of me talking about this. But it's just an amazing palette. It's a neutral palette, but also it has some colorful shadows, so you can easily do a colorful look. You can do a pink look if you want to, you can do a green look if you want to, you can do a really dark look if you want to, you can do a really light look if you want to as well. And it's just an amazing palette. This is one of the palettes I use the most in my collection, I think. And also, I think this might be my absolute favorite palette in my collection. So that is why I would recommend, or why I recommend this if you want to try Nabla. I think this has a little bit of everything and it's just so good. I have used all the shades, maybe not this one actually. But I think all the others and it is a really really good palette and the quality is so good the shimmers are so so good except for this one because I don't know because I haven't tried it but it's just such a good palette and I don't think anybody else love this palette as much as I do but it's just an amazing palette amazing and I really love the front of it I don't know why but I really do and the last brand I think you might know which brand it is and it's Kaleidos and here when I was picking up this palette I'm not sure that I made the right choice but what I was thinking when I picked this palette I got my gel. so this is not my favorite palette from Kaleidos but I have found I have found it when I first used it, I wasn't. It was good quality as always with Kaleidos, but I wasn't like that amazed with it. But it is the Escape Pod. I have the older, bulkier packaging. They have done a slimmer version of this now. But why I took this? I think you get everything you need in this one. I love the Club Nebula palette that is in collab with Anilka Nyqvist, but that palette is not available anymore, so I picked this instead. And I think if you buy this, you're going to get an amazing matte shades quality from Kaleidos, and you're also going to get their different shimmers. They have some shimmers that are more like toppers, but I think it's this one, or this, no, I think it's this one. 
it's such an amazing green shimmer I love it but you can also do a neutral look with this one if you want to and I think this is a really good shade shade a really good palette to try if you don't know what to get from Kaleidos when people ask me which palette I recommend from Kaleidos I usually like buy the six pan palette that you like the color store from because I think they're equally good but I actually think I recommend this more I want to think about it because with this you get a little bit of everything you get like these ones that you are going to get in the sashimi city you get some purple you get some orange you get some green and I think this, this is a really good palette I don't know why I didn't to say I didn't like it is not correct but it was like it's just a palette but then when I used it a couple of times more I was like this is a really good palette so yeah I would recommend this farm from Kaleidos. I don't think I ever done it before, but I do it now. So yeah, that was all for this video. So these are five palettes that I recommend from five in brands that I really, really love. I hope you liked this video and have you got any of these palettes? What do you think about them? Do you recommend another palette more? I don't. Really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!